When you run your server for the first time, it will get an IP address dynamically assigned by the DSCP server. In general, it's better to use a static IP address on servers, because servers will host services that the clients will use, and it will be a problem if the IP address of the server change frequently. Of course, there is a way to assign static IP addresses through the DSCP server with reservations. I prefer to assign static IPs to network devices and servers and use DSCP to assign IPs to clients' devices such as workstations, laptops and mobile devices. If you wonder what a DSCP is and how it works, don't worry, you will learn how to use DHCP in the upcoming lessons. For now, let's assign a static IP address to this server. On the server manager, click on local server. Then click on the hyperlink next to Ethernet 0 to display the network interface configuration. Right click on the network interface and click on status. Then click on details to display the current IP address. You can see here the IP address of the server, the subnet mask, the default gateway, the DSCP server IP address. This is the IP of the DSCP server that assigned an IP to your server. Here you have the IP of the DNS server. Now we will change this dynamic IP address to a static IP. The IP I'm going to assign to this server will be 192.168.217.10. I will keep the same subnet mask, the same gateway and DNS server. I close this window and click on properties. I select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on Properties. Select Use the following IP address and type the new IP 192.168.217.10. When I press the Tab key, Windows will fill the subnet mask field with the appropriate subnet mask. I enter the default gateway that remains the same. Enter the DNS server IP. For the alternate DNS server, I will enter the Google DNS IP 8888. We are all set to go. Click OK. Close. Close. Let's check the current server IP address. Yes, the server is now using the new IP address. Let's check if our server can reach other networks. I ping the google.com. Yes, I get a reply from Google. We are sure that our server can communicate on the network. Good job. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.